first day? What's it like that first first official practice for you guys? Um, it was a great feeling just because it was the first official. But I mean, we've been going for a long time. It's just longer drills, and um, I think we're getting better, and we're gonna try to get better every day. I think more so for me, uh, you know, as a you know, eye opener because I'm not used to those, you know, three hour practices coming from high school is more of like an hour and a half. So it, it was tiring, but it, it's exciting. Ty, what's it like to have so many freshmen on one team now? Uh, it's great just because they like my little sisters and uh, they're willing to learn and they're, well, they have open ears and uh, they like to get coached. So it's, that's a good thing. Is it hard at all? Is it, is it tough kind of adjusting to them? No, it's not tough because, I mean, they're, they were good. Good kids. I mean, they were good athletes and players coming out of high school, so they know what is expected, and we have standards, so they live up to it. You've had seniors that you've looked up to before and kind of emulated. Now it's kind of your turn now to sort of show the young ones how uh, how to get it done. Just talk about that role you have. Yes, sir. Um, I mean, I've been a leader since uh, my sophomore year, but um, obviously they're younger, so it's kind of just showing them ropes and um, leaving my legacy here so they can continue on. Tony, since you have so many youngsters on the team this year, uh, does it seem like you're more of a big sister or a mom to uh, these young ladies? Big sister, not a mom. We're not going to go that old. <laughs> Ty, did you uh, have to fight the urge to kind of dump it down to Asia, down in the middle there when she was on the court? <laughs> no, because she wasn't on my team, so yeah. <laughs> it's all right. How quickly do you think the freshmen can contribute to this team? I think we're willing to learn. We're willing to, you know, we go through uh, trial and error. So I think with that and having, you know, the upper class there to guide us and the coaches there to guide us, like, we want to learn. We want to be yelled at. So it, it won't take long. What's been the hardest transition from the high school to the collegiate level for you guys? I think in the collegiate level, it's like you got to know what you're doing. you got to be able to get out there when you're thrown out there and know what spot you're in, what position you're in. So that's the biggest challenge. You know, Ty, going from one of the most dominant players, you know, in the middle that's mm -hmm. played, you know, college basketball. What's his, what's the identity now of this team without Asia? You think is it more guard heavy? Is it still inside mm -hmm. out? Do you guys have an identity yet on offense? Um, I don't think we have an identity just because everybody's versatile. I mean, she plays post and guard, and um, there's a lot of people who can go interchange in every spot. But I mean, we're we're gonna be good. I feel like, and um, we're just gonna try to figure out and try to flow with everything, and see how it goes. Ty, just how excited are you to start your senior season, or are you maybe a, a little melancholy yeah. because this is the end? Oh um, my, it's bittersweet. Sweet. I mean, I'm I'm excited to play, but I don't want to go too fast because then it's next level. <laughs> it's hard to it's hard to believe. It seems like just yesterday you were the freshman on the national championship team. Now it is. It is. I mean, it goes by fast. I remember my freshman year. I was like, I want to just be a junior, so like I could be adjusted. But now I'm like, I want to be a freshman again because, <laughs> I mean, everybody was telling me it's gonna go by quick, and I was like, Nah, we got this long preseason and stuff, but it does go by quick it's, as soon as season starts. Does it seem like you just kind of walked on campus as a newcomer? I mean, yeah. Is, I mean, how has it really flown by that fast? It, it does. It really do. It's Coach Daly's 20th season as a head coach. How special is it to be part of her 20th season? Um, it's amazing. I mean, I only been a part of three, but <laughs> it's an amazing feeling just for her, all her accomplishment and everything she's been through. Especially because I want to follow her footsteps. I mean, yeah, how strange is it to, <laughs> or is it strange? You know, you see your coach win a uh, win a world title just a few days ago, and, and now she's back here coaching you guys. Is that an eye-opener for you guys, to know that she's such a figure on the world stage, too? I think more so for me, since it is my freshman year, it's kind of crazy to think about. She was just out of the country. She won that, and now she's back here right in front of me, teaching me what to do. Like, it's, it's kind of crazy. It's up our, it's, it ups our intensity, too, just yeah. because, like, you know, they, she playing, coaching pros, and they know everything, and they do everything, little things, so now it just it's more intense on us. And her energy, I would yeah. imagine, yeah. too, is pretty yeah. high. Yeah. Yes, it is. You said you want to follow in her footsteps. Does that mean you want to be a coach one day? <laughs> I don't know yet, but her story is that she didn't want to be a coach either until later on. So I say no right now, but it could change. <laughs> Anything else for time, Bree? Bree, yeah, what's no. been the biggest piece of advice from Coach Daly players. early on in this one, or early on in your time here? It's really like when you, you're going to get down on yourself, you just got to keep fighting. The coaches are going to get on you like nonstop, but you got to know like you got to keep pushing every step of the way.